the Joe Rogan experience. Oh. Izzy's just the most sophisticated of the strikers. He's the what, if you watch striking, if you're a person who likes striking and you like setups and stuff, what he he's doing something very different because he's getting guys to move a certain way. He's reading you, like you see when Izzy's moving around. He's reading you. Yeah. He's seeing if he can come forward with the right hand. He's seeing if you're looking at that right hand. He kicks your leg. Yeah. He's gonna move out of the range of your power. It's like, and it's he's, like he's thinking in 4D yes. or something. He's yeah. he's downloading all your data. And yeah. he, he can see like weaknesses in people. Like a great example is Paulo Costa. Paulo Costa steamrolled everybody. He was just smashing people. He's a giant dude. They called him the eraser. He would just move forward and just fuck a gah, 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 gah. And Izzy just picked him apart. He made him look like Made him look foolish. Yeah. And by the end of the first round, you could see he was baffled. Like he was fucked. Because he knew, like, I can't hit this dude and he's standing right in front of me. And he would he would swing at Izzy and you know Izzy would be just out of range and then he'd make him pay. Just out of range to make him pay. And then after he stopped him, he humped him. <laughs> yeah, you know, um, you know what, you know what, where I learned a lot, or it may, um, but I watched those. Uh, you Do you know see the, that? Do you see that after he, he, after he stopped him, he humps him. Watch this. Yeah, because he was talking all that yeah. shit. Yeah, he's talking all that shit. But watch this. One, two. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I love Izzy man because he don't he don't play that shit. Well, he's just so slick, man. If you like, for a guy like me who's been interested in striking his whole life like seeing a guy like this that was a top flight kickboxer make his way into MMA I reached out to Izzy before he ever fought in the UFC I saw him fight in uh, in kickboxing matches and I reached out to him on Instagram like way back in the day and he was telling me that he's taking some fights to China and that he's like he's gonna come to the UFC but he's gonna do it the right way and he did it the right way he was smart like some guys jump in but they don't have a ground game yet they jump in they don't have defense yet but they just feel like oh i'm gonna learn a few things and i'm just gonna use my kickboxing and then you fight some fucking wrestler some, yeah. some dude who hits you with that power double and boom and you feel that weight and pressure like oh shit i don't know how to handle this yeah <laughs> a lot of guys get fucked yeah. up that you run way into a, you run into a khabib and you get exactly murdered. you run into you run into some dagestani assassin <laughs> and you're fucked but is he did it the right way? Well, I I, I watch um I like watching the um, you you know the, the the morning combat guys. Yes. Yeah. I, so Luke th Thomas and who's the other dude? Luke's been on the podcast before. He's got that that dude with yeah. him. So he he made me understand just how much on another level is he is from everybody else because he breaks it. You know he'll have a two three hour video where he's like, you know, telling you the Brian oh, Campbell. Yeah, Luke yeah. Thomas and Brian Campbell. Yeah, they broke it down one time, and I was like, "Oh wow, this motherfucker is." Because I, you know, because I'm not a big, I'm not a, I don't have the experience in fighting that you have, right? So I was like, w "There, there needs to be a John Madden of MMA," you know? Mm, yeah. And made me because, because I at first, I mean, I always liked watching Izzy, but I didn't, I didn't get the chess match mm -hmm. that he's playing. Yeah. That other people just aren't. They're not even aware that there's a that there's another game being played other than that. Yeah. Other than swinging and kicking, right? They, he's on some other shit, man. Well, he the way he describes it is like a lot of people are just button smashers. Like if you're playing a game, you're like, eh, oh, yeah. trying to make something happen. He's like, he's setting things up. He's setting things up. And there's yeah. other guys that set things up. And yeah. that's one of the things that makes this weekend so interesting is because he's on the same card as Alex Pereira. And Alex Pereira is... Beat him. Is, he knocked him out. He KO'd him with a left hook in a, a kickboxing match. Okay, well, I heard and that, he yeah. beat him once by unanimous decision, and then the rematch, he KO'd Izzy. You know, and uh, he's only fought twice in the UFC, but he's won both fights, and now he's fighting the number four ranked Sean Strickland this weekend. It's very interesting, because they're, they're basically trying to fast track him to into fight a Izzy. fight with Izzy. I'm sorry, man. You know what? Um, I... I, I you got to you got to show me somebody to beat him. Well, let me show you somebody. Um, I'm not saying that he could beat him, but Alex Pereira is one of the scariest fucking strikers on planet Earth. He's this dude from Brazil. He's a bad motherfucker. And this is when he fought Izzy. I think this is. I don't know if this is the first fight or the second fight, but it was a real good fight, back and forth. But then this. Oh wow. Yeah, I mean, he's got that kind of power. But go to uh, Alex Pereira's highlights. That said, the Izzy from back then is not the Izzy of today. No. He's way better now. Way better now. Um, Alex Pereira, who was primarily a kickboxer, two-division world champion in glory, now he's made his way over to MMA. And he's just so – we were just seeing that one. Here it is. 
this dude fucks people up. And these are with big gloves on. He's one of the most vicious knockout artists in glory history. Like, unusual power. Like, almost everybody gets starched. And the dude's crazy durable, too. Like, he gets into wars with people. and uh, Can they not throw kicks? Oh, they can, but he's... Oh. Yeah, I mean, he's got kick knockouts, too, but there's a left-hand... KO Dustin Jacoby. I mean, he's a bad motherfucker. 